My name is Eniola and I'll be your host for today. And the topic that we're gonna be discussing is something that I know a lot of the audience will be really interested in. So it's about social media. So we'll be discussing the impact of social media. So I know everyone knows what social media is. So Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, WhatsApp, all of these things um, we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm really interested to hear your points. All right, thank you very much, Eniola. Here we are again, speaking on this show. I appreciate you for this privilege. Thank you very much, Eniola. Thanks for inviting us back here. So, the rules. Timelade, you'll be speaking first with your points against social media, and Eniola, you follow on with your points for social media. Then I'll give you the opportunity to respond to each other's points. And then finally, we'll have our closing statement. Yeah, so Timelade, the stage is yours. All right, before I start with my points, I'd like to put it out there that social media, I believe that it's kind of like a blank paper. Right. So we as individuals were the ones that tune it to how we want it to present itself. So kind of like putting pen on paper. But that is negative side. And especially on teenagers who are just new to this society, which is kind of developing in digital age. Right. So the first problem is that number one, it's too loud. It's too loud. Social media, you can't really filter it, right? You can't really filter it. There's no there, there isn't really much of that PG um, guidance that you need as a parent. You can't, you can't exactly filter what your kids are exposed to online because there's so much information out there. What the ones they should have and the ones they shouldn't have, you can't, and you can't be with them every time because your eyes can't be everywhere. So in front of you. Maybe your kid is there. The kid might present itself like, okay, I'm just on social media, maybe just catching up on courses or, you know, checking in with the group on WhatsApp. But then when they're not in front of you, what do they do? How can you filter that? Social media exposes these kids to so much that, like, the world is kind of spinning out of control at this point. Because on, on apps like Instagram, TikTok, you know, you find all these influencers you know adults people that are like running their world are running the digital world the content creation world and then you have these teenagers these these young adults who are also trying to fit into that ideology so much so that they don't even they don't even consider the fact that okay maybe we are too young for what for the kind of content we're putting on out there but no because this person has like a million followers has two billion followers so me to you know to be an important person i must have that number that is the number that equates your your value now on mm -hmm. the internet so everybody is just like okay just taking in everything and trying to recreate that and that is not how it's supposed to be because if you if you're going to use social media you should be able to use it for things that develop you you know that contributes to your growth but because you can't be there every time you can't you can't insist that this and this is what your child should be looking at right so they are exposed to different kind of things and that affects them badly it affects their mental health affects their emotional state like because some of some children you find them saying that they're depressed and when you ask them why are you depressed because they're seeing a girl halfway across the continent who is being a billionaire right she just became a billionaire today because she was selling this kind of product or she was doing this kind of thing first of all you don't know this girl personally you don't know what she's doing at the back you don't know how how long her struggle has even been for but because that person is the same age as you the person is in the same social circle as you. That person is African. That person is American. That person is is like is Spanish. So also you also want to be at that same level, and it's not exactly like that. Because social media paints a kind of perfect image for everyone, and we all know that nobody is perfect. But these teenagers, not all of them know that, and so they buy into that story that social media sells them, and they make it into their own. And at the end of the day, some of them end up falling so low because they're not able to meet up with them or to keep up. So my second point now that I'd like to mention also is that you find that social media has a very adult driven content, right? And it makes sense because the people that develop these apps, these sites that people love to visit, they themselves, they are adults, right? They are web developers, they are um, UI, UX, intelligent people, geniuses. And so they are willing to sell this thing to people who, who have the money to buy it, right? Mm -hmm. But then for the kids, who are coming there and they're in this space so much adult driven content so much fun so much things that are good and that are not good alike like how do they know when to differentiate between the two of them and since you can't be there all the time you can't watch what they're doing so they're taking it in 
both the good ones, both the bad ones. They're learning how to be citizens, they're learning good values. At the same time, they're being exposed to so much that you can't even control it, you can't even tamper it down. And you can't tell them not to know it because they've already been exposed to it. So even if you're right in front of them and you're trying to stop them from experiencing it, who's to say what's happening behind you, right? So all these things, social media, it can affect children so badly in a way that we, we, we are not even able to fully comprehend it yet because the digital age is always evolving. Technology is evolving. People are coming out with more and more things. Yesterday it was AI. Who knows what will come out tomorrow? So I believe that there are a lot of benefits of social media, especially as a, as a social construct for teaching people, but it needs to be utilized effectively. Yeah, so thank you very much for that, Timilade. Those are some really interesting points. It's especially important how you mentioned how parents can't actually control what their kids see on social media. So that is something for everyone to really think about. So next, we'll be having Inyolua. So please, go ahead. Speaking of social media as an impact on our lives, I would like to pick out the positive impact and the roles that social media has played in how we live our lives today. Look at it from this perspective. Social media has been a very powerful tool for every one of us to express ourselves to the outside world. For example, teenagers benefit from videos they see online, probably from social gatherings like religious organization or from seminars. They can tap, they can join this seminars through live stream. They can also connect to um, very important personalities through their social media account, gain value from them, and also learn from how they become who they are today through social media. Even mentorship has become very, very easy with social media. You don't have to meet the person one-on-one, -on -one, but with social media, you can always learn from their daily motivation, their tips, and everything they have to feed to you. So with social media, I believe our lives have become much more better, and we have been able to grow better as, as humans. In general, social media has helped both young and old to make our lives better. And humanity is blessed to have a tool like social media and the internet at large to make things easier and make work faster for us. Yeah, that was great, Inuloa. Thank you for mentioning that. What he said, or what I got from that was, it's really important how you use social media. So you can use it for educational purposes, you can use it to, you know, show off your personality and your talents. So, yeah, that was really great. Um, so next, we'll give you the opportunity to respond to each other points. So first, we'll be starting with Tim Lade. All right. So expansion on the negative effect social media has on individuals. I'd like to bring up that topic of mental health again, right? So more, some of the people that I see that are online and that talk to me, eh, they complain of the effect the whole lifestyle on social media has on so for some of us that aren't social butterflies, you know, we can't be everywhere doing everything. It's really hard keeping up with all the trends and the new things that are coming out. But it's not just that. It's the picture-perfect image that social media presents to people and having to match up to that. So knowing you're in a different state than other people and having to match up to it. So sometimes this thing, it weighs up on people so much that they begin to feel anxious and depressed because when you're seeing for example maybe your friends and they are moving ahead of you because you have some people that they don't enter school at the same time so an example maybe your peers went into school ahead of you right and now you're entering school and you just can't seem to catch up you can't seem to fit in at all maybe your grades are even slacking or being affected in some way or the other they, and you're looking at them and you're seeing the way that they are living their life so well there's a certain way it will affect you. Then adding again, people you don't even know, celebrities, for example, you know, social media influencers who have this way of painting their lives like, like it's so simple and so easy and that everything is just flowing and coming like honey. To you, it might seem like, like, it, like it's beyond your control. Like, what am I doing wrong? So using myself as an example, I actually went through this at some point in time. I think that was when I was like, 18 or 19 or so, I hadn't used a social media because I didn't have a phone. But then I got the phone and I got on social media to join with my friends because I, you know, I wanted to listen to them, I wanted us to talk and to catch up and everything. But then seeing the kind of lives they were painting for themselves, like people were just, you know, posting pictures of going to places, seeing other people. And then you have, you know, this 
because social media is a world like i said it's, it's, it's a global stage you're seeing everyone and everything so countries you never even knew existed places you've never even visited you may not have even stepped out of your house but at the same time you're in korea so seeing all those people seeing the way they were living their lives seeing the way they were doing things i wanted to do was very difficult for me and it, it made me anxious it made me want to try better do better work better but then putting in the effort and not seeing the results was also faulty. And before I knew it, I was already spiraling. I remember I cried, I called a friend, and I was just like, I really don't know what to do. So sometimes social media can be toxic for you as a person. And also people sometimes making make it in a way like, you're kind of like a failure if you don't also get up to that set standard which they have laid on the internet. Maybe you are not that, badass girl or that nice tomboy but smart genius you know there's this kind of picture that the movie social media media in general paints out and when you're not able to meet up to it it affects you because it feels like you are lacking in some way yeah thank you for that Timilade. it's now in the other turn to respond social media is a very beautiful thing that you can use to develop yourself in every aspect of your life you, as a young person, you can leverage on social media, put yourself out there, and it will help you develop your talent. You can also network with other people that have similar values and are like-minded. You can also network with people that you look up to. You can also connect, connect with different communities, and you can use that to grow and develop yourself. Social media is, is very important in our lives because it makes our lives very easy. Social media helps us to develop ourselves in several aspects for example the manchester youth empowerment club can help you develop yourself in diverse aspects all you just need to do is to reach out to them they can help you with coding helping you develop your skills helping you become a better person as a young person also during covid so many youths were able to develop their self you're able to learn online through the use of social media too so i am of the opinion that social media is very important even in developing ourselves in several aspects of our lives thank you Yes, yeah, so I'll now invite Inyolua to provide a summary of her viewpoints. In conclusion, there is so much more you can do with social media. Use social media to develop your skills. Use social media to read more and research more on educational courses. Use social media to help yourself become that person you desire to be. Use social media to connect with like-minded people. You can also reach out to Mahek. They do so many seminars and other my, um, other activities you can benefit from on social media and in the long run make sure that everything you strive for on social media aim at the positive aspect of it thank you very much yeah thank you for that conclusion in your lua i'll now invite himalade to provide a summary of her viewpoint on that aspect my advice to you is when on social media always think positive things no matter what you see no matter how high other people seem like all right if you have a goal if you have a vision strive to achieve it and if other people seem like they are winning the race faster than you then relax for yourself you know everyone has their own time so take your time set the pace eventually you get to where you're going to. wow some really great points there guys thank you Inilua, for mentioning Man manchester youth empowerment club what you did say was really important about how social media can help to educate you and help to better you that is exactly what we're here for so we've got youtube channels where we'll sh um, give you announcements to help you in terms of education results days and things like that we have instagram posts where we'll tell you about our upcoming events we have seminars workshops so yeah thank you for mentioning Man manchester youth empowerment club that's what we're here for yeah so what's my take i'm a bit on both sides you both have mentioned some really great points so what i will say is obviously social media can be deceiving so you have to be selective of what you let in or what you you know, the pages that you follow, the influences that you follow, um, and not to let it, you know, affect you. Don't let um, social media be toxic, as um, in as Tim and Lady mentioned. And yeah, just be yourself. Don't take it, you know, to heart. Yeah, so just to conclude everything, social media is a tool and it depends how you use it. So use it to better your mental health, use it to learn more and to be better. Um, so thank you to our audience for tuning in. Stay tuned next month for our next topic. So just to add to that, we see all your comments, we see all your shares and your likes. So please keep them coming. Keep messaging, um, keep sharing to your friends and thank you very much. So if you do want to participate, just like Inyolua and Timula Day, you can message me directly. So that's Inyola at myek.org.uk and I'll get you on here. Right, so thank you so much for tuning in.
Next up, we've got the knees. Hello everyone, this, my name is Ola Tunji for the news. Thank you for listening to our program, My TV Talk Show. Um, like Anyola said, just see tuned for the new one, next one and next month. For the news today, uh, our months, this month's program, September program, will be published on our website. Just stay tuned and look at all our events that will be coming up, especially this month. We're still having our uplift project going on. So stay tuned for the workshop and also the conference. And the big events, it's going to be happening on the 21st of October 2023. It's on Saturday. Chinedu announced it last month. And this event is especially just for the conclusion of our wonderful project, Project Evanes. We're going to be portraying a lot of activities that the young ones have done over the last 12 months. Part of this activity is going to be a drama. The drama is called The Janitor. It's a very, very exciting one. And I would advise you to stay tuned and keep an eye on the event. The event is going to be for, uh, for between 12 o'clock and 6. A lot to eat, a lot to learn, a lot of people to meet. So it's going to be a fun day. A lot of games, a lot of plays, a lot of educative stuff that you will learn about the culture. So parents that are coming, don't leave your teenagers behind because there are lots for them to learn, share and know on the day. And the good news for the teenagers going back to the uni, especially this month of September, we've got a very nice package of understanding for you to learn how to manage your money effectively. Don't think it won't be useful. Trust me, it will be useful. Just try and stay tuned. It's just about four to five minutes worth of program. And it's from our experts and within the club that will be giving this information out. So keep an eye and keep watching my TV.